Grimgar, Fanny and Ash, race, orcs. Orcs are directly humanity's greatest threat. They're also the main army of the No Life King, at least back when he was around. Most people think of orcs as incompetent and stupid, but in reality, on average, they're almost as intelligent as an average human. And if I'm being honest, most of them are physically stronger than an average human as well. So orcs in general are more superior than humans, at least biologically. That being said, the society is absolute shit. For example, the enslave their halflings sounds familiar. Am I right? Dwarfs? So yes, if you're born half-orc, you're automatically called a Numau, and you are now enslaved. Not to mention the fact that orcs not only like to fight humans, but also fight each other. However, there are still orcs like Jumbo, who are insanely intelligent and insanely powerful. Orcs like Jumbo are a serious, serious problem to other factions around him. Because Jumbo is so charismatic, strong, and intelligent, he can recruit humans, gray elves, and undead with his charisma and intelligence alone. And he can recruit races like orcs and goblins through his strength because they respect it so much. And pretty much anyone who is a slave will flock to him because he treats everyone fairly. He actually recruited all of the dwarf slaves and all the new mouths from the orcs so they're all under his command because they actually respect and like him. Orcs can also learn magic. There are orc sorcerers in volume three and these motherfuckers can straight up just shoot out bugs, debuffs, fireballs. They can heal each other. It's a, they can do pretty much anything. It's crazy. Orcs come from Derringer and Derringer is a other world. Fun fact, dragons also come from Derringer. For orcs to come from Derringer to Grimgar, they actually need to go through a giant volcano that is protected by a dragon. So usually if you're an orc coming from Derringer, you've either been banished but are seriously strong because you were able to survive an encounter with a fire dragon or you're just really, really lucky and didn't get killed by the fire dragon. And finally, killing an orc for a volunteer soldier is a rite of passage. You are not considered a true volunteer soldier until you actually take down your first orc, because orcs are seen as the first actual hurdle and challenge for volunteer soldiers to take down. Yes, this means that Hatahiro and his friends having trouble killing goblins and kobolds is even more laughable.